Welcome to the Creative Hudson. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create patterns in Affinity Designer. First, go to File New and create a new document with the following properties. Go to Print. Set the page width and page height to 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. The DPI, which is dots per inches, should be set at 300 for print. After that, check the Create Artboard box and click Create. Now go to the View menu. Scroll down to Studio and click Symbols. We'll be creating our pattern using the Symbols panel. You can dock this panel with the others or leave it undocked. Next, grab the Artboard tool from the Tools panel to create another artboard. Zoom out. Since our current artboard is 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels, we want to make the size of this artboard double that size. Set the size of the artboard to 4000 pixels by 4000 pixels. You can go to the Transform panel and type this into the width and the height. After that, go to the Tools panel and select the Rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle inside of Artboard 1 and make sure it covers the entire artboard. Go to the Swatches panel and set the color of the rectangle to the following fill color. 7BD4FC. Remove the stroke. Now, go to the Layers panel and select the rectangle we created. Then, go to the Symbols panel and click Create. Now, the pattern that we create will go inside of this rectangle, which we've converted to a symbol. Next, grab a symbol from the Symbols panel and place it onto Artboard 2. After that, grab three more symbols and place them on Artboard 2 to cover up the artboard. Now, if you move or change something in this symbol, it affects all the other symbols in the second artboard. Go to the Tools panel and grab the Pen tool. Make sure you're in Artboard 1 and that the rectangle is selected. Also, make sure you have Snapping turned on in the Toolbar and that the following boxes are checked. Take the pen tool and draw a line. Hold shift to make sure the line is straight. In the swatches panel, set the stroke color of the line to white. Then go to the stroke panel and set the width of the stroke to three points. With the line still selected, press Ctrl plus J to make a duplicate of it, or right click on the line and select duplicate. Select the duplicated line with the move tool. Press and hold shift and rotate the line to negative 90 degrees. Now make another duplicate of the line. Then hold shift and rotate this line to negative 135 degrees. After that, make one more duplicate of the line. You should have a total of four lines. Rotate this line to 135 degrees. Grab the pen tool again from the tools panel. Make a V shape on top of the original line. If you need to, you can drag a guideline down to make sure that your V points are even. Also, make sure that the connecting point of the V touches the point of the line we created. In the layers panel, make sure that what you created is inside of the symbol group in Artboard 1. With our V shape selected, press Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Place the duplicate onto the tip of our other line. Continue doing this until all the ends of the line have a V shape on them. After that, grab the pen tool again. Add some smaller lines to the snowflake to finish out the design. When you draw one line, press Ctrl, then click off of it to deactivate the point of the current line before you create your next line. If you don't, then it will add a point to the current line. Once you finish creating this snowflake, select all of the elements of it in the Layers panel. Go to the Layer menu and select Expand Stroke. With the snowflake still selected, go to the Boolean Operations panel in the toolbar and select Add. Now the snowflake is one shape. Next, make a duplicate of the snowflake by pressing Ctrl plus J. Hold Shift and drag the duplicate to the top left corner. Make sure that part of the snowflake goes past the edge of the artboard. If you look at the second artboard, you see that this snowflake is overlapping onto our other rectangle. 
So go to the layers panel and drag the snowflakes inside of the rectangle. This will create a clipping mask. Now go back to artboard one. Make three more duplicates of the snowflake and place them on the other corners of the artboard. Make sure that the snowflakes go beyond the edge of the artboard. Grab the ellipse tool from the tools panel. Hold Ctrl and Shift and make an ellipse on artboard one. In the swatches panel, set the fill color to white and get rid of the stroke. Next, make three duplicates of the ellipse. Press Ctrl and J to do this. Place them around the snowflake that's in the center. Now, make a duplicate of one of the snowflakes. Press and hold Ctrl and Shift. Then, make this snowflake smaller and place it below the bigger snowflake in the center. Make a duplicate of the smaller snowflake and drag it above the bigger snowflake in the center. Select the ellipse that's on the right at the top. Press Ctrl and J to make a duplicate of it. Place the duplicated ellipse above the smaller snowflake we created. Make sure that part of the ellipse goes past the edge of the artboard. Do the same thing again. This time, place the duplicated ellipse below the other smaller ellipse at the bottom. In the Layers panel, drag the ellipses inside of the rectangle layer. Now, make two more duplicates of the ellipses. Place one of the ellipses on the left edge in the center. Then, place the other ellipse on the right edge in the center. After that, make two duplicates of our smaller snowflake. Take the smaller snowflakes and place them on the left and right side of the bigger snowflake that's in the center. Now, we'll see how the pattern looks on realistic objects. Go to the coffee mug mock-up link in the description. Scroll down and click Free Download. Another tab will open. Now, scroll down on the New tab and select Download and click OK. Once the file finishes downloading, go to the Download. Right-click on the folder and click Extract All to unzip the folder. After that, go to the unzipped folder and open the Free Mug Mockup 1 file. If the file isn't an Affinity Designer file, right click on it and select Open with Affinity Designer. Even though these are PSD files, which are Photoshop files, you can edit them in Affinity Designer. Now go to our pattern. Select Artboard 1. Then go to File, Export to export our pattern. Set the pattern to either JPEG or PNG. If you are going to print this pattern, you will save it as a PNG file. Make sure the size is still 2000 by 2000 pixels and click export. Give your pattern a name. We'll call this snowflake pattern. Then save it. Now go back to the mockup file. In the layers panel, open the mockup group. Uncheck the colors group. Then go to file place and select the snowflake pattern. Hold shift and stretch the pattern across the mug. In the Layers panel, drag the Snowflake Pattern layer inside of the Project group. After that, drag the pattern inside of the Mug Project group. Now, go select the Background Color layer in the Layers panel. Then, go to the Swatches panel and double-click on the color to open the Color Chooser. You can make the background whatever color you want. The hex code for the color I chose is B0E5B7. And this is how to create patterns in Affinity Designer. Once you know how to create patterns in Affinity Designer, you can see that your patterns can be placed on any type of object you want to place them on. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.